another match here for Roni Elmdor. As on top, he has his um, Zia Kyle Highwaymen. And on bottom is my newest team. Or one of my newest teams, rather. Ever Faithful. Alright, Roni has Rock the Paladin. Action Man the Archer. Idea Man the Archer. And Zero the Samurai. Um, just to go over this team really quick. Berserk Paladin. Uh, attack up PA save. He's designed to take as many hits as he can before going down. PA save to help with his attack up stat. Um, battle boots to give him movement. Clone archers here for the most part, with except a couple of items that was switched around, a couple of skills. But anywho, uh, they both function the same way. They can inflict, don't act, and are very, very, um, very annoying to get away from. And of course, you have a white magic samurai who can be offense and defense at the same time. She has raise two, protect two, mirror same, and chirajira den. So this is basically a mixed bag of uh, AOE, two snipers, and one berserk unit. Now my team, on the other hand, is this faith up the ninja, dragon the lancer, crystal the scholar, and blast the time age. Basically, what I'm going for here is. I want the ninja to inflict faith on um, on anyone, so that way, well he has draw, he also has Masamune, so he's a bit of a draw um, bot, and he also has Kiyomori for poison and blind, he's pretty tanky too, I gave him 50 brave and faith because I gave him auto protect, so that way he can survive some physical hits, damage split right back, and he's very fast too, so he'll be shrugging off quite a bit of damage. Um, this is my item bot Lancer here. Oh. The mic just fell over. Um, <clears throat> anyways, this is my item bot Lancer of item and throw item and dragon spirit move HP up. He's designed not to really to jump, but to just simply toss items around. He has ice shield, um, for absorbing ice. The reason being why everyone on my team can either absorb or null ice is because this scholar right here can, um, cast lore. She has the ice raw magic attack up to boot. And she also has Bio, Bio 2, and Dia. I switch out Holy for Dia because I want to be more or less instant. I gave her Re-Raise for now until I can think of a better accessory for her. But I figure Re-Raise just might do it. And I also have a Time Mage here who's there to simply inflict status effects. That's it. That's all th there is. That's all she really is there for. Just a bunch of status effects. My mic just keeps tipping over. It's because of the freaking armor my couch is not exactly balanced i have to keep my microphone in like it's such a such a position that um i don't want it to fall off ah okay there we go <laughs> sorry about that fiddling around with the microphone a little bit too much but yeah overall what i'm going for here is i have the lancer here as highest hp because i want him to kind of be the tank of the unit the tank of this entire squad the ninja basically be fast to inflict status Time H to inflict stats and Skull there to hang back and support. Um, but they're mostly more or less ice absorbed too, as you can tell by the setup here. Alright, so round one between myself and Roni Elmdor, we're we'll going to map 95, which is the church. So this is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Um, Roni Elmdor's in the green while I'm in the black. And we see Masamune off the bat here. And don't act misses, uh, my ninja. And my Skull's gonna be looking for, or going for, gonna be looking for a lore here. Samurai's gonna do nothing at the moment. Lancer just still being passive. And here comes my ninja. Doing a double Kiyomori. And... Oh, don't act hits. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Time Age is gonna be looking for a 73% Petrify, though. My ninja does not get don't acted. Petrify misses. That's pretty bad. Damage split. And that's why my ninja is there to tank, so he can damage split uh, right back in the enemy's face. Oh, but Cherry drops him. 216 damage. Hopefully my Skull can get in there and, and hit the race too, and that's what she's going to have to go for here. Armain does hit, however, so I'm in a little bit of trouble. Time Age is looking for something here. Oh, Reflected Petrify. 
goes off on the samurai and does connect. My Lancer goes for a banish to get rid of the don't act. And Rock all oh, goes for a swing and a miss. That's thanks to the Kiramori kicking in. And Idea Man kills my Scholar. And my Time is gonna be looking for another Petrify. My Lance is gonna be looking for the Phoenix down on my Ninja. Misses thanks to Kiyomori. Petrify lands there. So I'm at a four on two advantage because my skull does have re raise right now. And Rock, 314 damage. Look, surprisingly, there was no Dragon Spirit. And my time is looking for more Petrify procs. My Lancer, thankfully, is pretty fast. Skull gets up to look for. Oh, Petrify on the. That was a Petrify right there on the uh, Archer right there. And my Lancer is going to pick back up the Ninja again. That's why he's designed for. To simply item bot. Slow 2. Does connect. So it looks like I'll be taking round 1 here. Without question. That Kiyomori was definitely the move I needed. To make sure that the Berserker Paladin does not do anything to me. I also realized I forgot to mute the TV as well. So sorry for a little bit of background noise. I'm sure none of you really mind. There's a faith and here comes the rhyme bolt. So there you have it. I take round one. We'll see what happens in round two. All right, we are now set for round two as we are now map 21, Zotania Castle. Last match, uh, Roni Umtar put, had me on the ropes early, uh, but because of the Time Age nailing those Petrify procs, I was actually able to turn things around. As the Archer is going to be looking for po the Oil proc, 141 damage onto my Scholar. Blast is going to be looking for. Ooh! Absorb MP as he she protected my Lancer. <clears throat> Misses a Petrify though, but that was smart for to protect my Lancer. As Crystal will be looking for Bio 2, or was that Bio? Let's see, Lance will be looking for High Potion onto my Scholar, Bio 2. Ooh, Frog Proc, nice! And there's a Faith on that Frog as he runs off. And it's a good thing that he actually remains um, Frogged, because otherwise he would have been cured from the whole Frog Proc uh, after dying. We, we can see a slow 2 on the Berserk Paladin. Quick Mirasame. All right, Dragon will look for Anado to get rid of the poison at least. As 174 damage, damage split, that damage away, however. And now we see a Faith onto the Samurai. Skull will be looking for. Oh, my ninja had to take had to take one for the team though. He just had to take one for the team. Time Age will be looking for balance, and knocks out the Samurai again. And so far, um, looks like I'm, I got round two in the bag. That slow frog balance is just really kicking in. See Masamune on my time age this time. And now she's going to be looking for a petrify. Oh, Armin on my scholar. Very smart. But the archer pays for it with the petrify. So now... Kiyomori onto the Berserk Paladin, so a swing, then a damage split. High Potion onto my Ninja, and now a 92% Petrify onto the Frog, who's faithed up, by the way. And it missed, wow, that's pretty damn unlucky, actually. But uh, next time my Time Age gets a shot, she'll definitely get it for sure. Yeah, 92%. That's a bit embarrassing. My Lancer gets a re-raise. Now the Petrify lands. And now... I have round 2 pretty much in the bag. Alright, Roni Elmdor. That was definitely a good fight, but I take both rounds. GG.